So before anyone gives me a skeptical response, let me ask you a question, Hembo. Mm. If your goal is to win the championship this coming year, and I said you could either start a team with Nikola Jokic or LeBron James, which would you choose? Nikola Jokic. You're out of your mind. If I told you your goal is to win a championship this year, and you could start a team with either Luka Doncic or LeBron James, who would you choose? Luka Doncic. You're out of your mind. Uh, Steph Curry. Steph Curry. Uh, Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid. Uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis Antetokounmpo. You have no problem with the five names that are ahead of LeBron. I have no problem. Jason no. Tatum is also ahead of Kevin Durant. You have no problem with LeBron and KD being as low on this list as they are. No. The question was, which player will be better this season? The, we're, we're forecasting what's going to happen. Those players are aging, and those players both have massive question marks around them. We're projecting things forward. LeBron James, the Lakers were outscored when LeBron James was on the floor last season. He and KD are still going to put up numbers, but using your criteria to win a championship, I don't think the Lakers have any shot. I think the, Net, the Nets are a much further long shot, shot than, say, consensus thinks. Okay, if you took Luka Doncic off the Mavericks and put LeBron James in, do they get worse? Yes. Their chances of winning a championship get worse? Their chances of winning a championship get worse. See, the only players that I would say that about that are on this list right now are Giannis and Steph. Hmm. Those would be the two. Because what Steph does is so singular. It's so unique. He's so incredibly valuable based on what he does. And then Giannis is the best player. Giannis is top to bottom the best player. He does everything for that team. And again, I think he would be the two-time defending NBA champion right now if, if he had not lost his most valuable teammate during the playoffs. Nuno, you have any issue with LeBron being six? I do. Because I think you could you could put I okay with Giannis and Steph ahead of them. Um but and Bede and Jokic, I still would take LeBron. If if based upon your question, if you're starting a team, one player to win a championship, I'm taking LeBron over those guys. Because LeBron's getting dinged for the fact that the Lakers, that roster is a complete and utter mess. Yep. Like that's what he's getting dinged for. But when I, when you're talking about best players in the league, there are not f five, uh, five better, and in uh, KD's, uh, you know, point uh, eight better. Are players than these two players. Th that's what I think. And, and again, I'm not talking about who has the best chance of winning the championship this year because okay. LeBron James mm -hmm. is playing for a franchise that sold their soul to win one title and they won it. And he's running, his running mate, Anthony Davis, is never healthy. So I'm not saying he has a better chance of winning this year's championship than these five guys. But what I am saying is that's not his fault. You could put him on a team and... In the playoffs, I believe he gives you a better chance to win every single game he plays. Now, this may not be the criteria for this list. We're talking about season-long contribution. All I get it. I'm not upset that he is where he is on this list. I'm saying that in the way I would judge this thing by what matters. I was not. I did not vote in this. But if I had, I would have put LeBron higher. LeBron James is 37 years old. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, he is not at a point, based upon all the history we have, that he's going to be able to perform at a top five level. What 37-year-old in NBA history has ever been top five in any season? Well, I mean, I hear you, but what quarterback has ever done what Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers and these guys are doing? Athletes, because of the, the, uh, the things that are available to them now in the ways of training and nutrition and everything else, the way they take care of their bodies, the way this guy in particular, LeBron, takes care of his body, he's not 37 in the way players were 37 in previous generations. So I think you have to equate him to someone, like I grew up watching basketball in the 70s. I think by the standards of 70s basketball, LeBron is like 28. By the 80s, He's 30. By the 90s, he's 32. And by a generation ago, he's 33 or 34. He is right at the end, but still in the window where he can be a dominant player. So what regression would you need to see from him that, to the point where you'd say he's no longer a top five player? Because I think we saw some of it last year. No, I don't know. I mean, I was in the building when they played Golden State on that Saturday night on ABC, and he scored whatever. What did he score that night? 40-something points, and he was unbelievable. He's also much less available than he used to be. But not in the playoffs, for, he wouldn't be. They just didn't make they the playoffs. They don't make the playoffs. No, I understand that. But I'm telling you that in, the, to win the championship, you have to be in the playoffs. I get it. That's why these guys all do belong on the list ahead of him. 
But what I'm saying is when I get there in the games that matter the most, I'll take that guy on my team and you can have Jokic and Bede or Luca. I'm not 100% sure about Luca. Luca just beat the Phoenix Suns by himself. They yeah. won 65 games, dude. But they had a bunch of problems. I, I think there was some stuff yeah, going Luca. on there. Yeah, Yeah, no, look, Luca's special. He's the one that I would be the most hesitant okay. to not have ahead of him now. So he and, and LeBron. Bede would be a lot. So, so right now for you, it's, it's only Steph and Giannis and LeBron and Steph excuse me, and then LeBron and, and Luca would be there for number three. And KD. I think we're totally selling short Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant has one fatal flaw, and that is he chooses the wrong things. He chooses the wrong people, his decision-making, not who he doesn't pass to. Now, I'm not talking about on the floor. You know what I'm talking about. Did you about. watch him play the Celtics in the playoffs last year? He was – look, that team was so dysfunctional, so out of it, so completely checked out. First of all, they should have won game one. That's an entirely different series if they win game one. They get beat on an uncontested layup with one-tenth of a second left. The whole series turns on that. Kyrie Irving. They got swept. God knows where he is. <laughs> Kyrie, God knows where Kyrie Irving is. And I think Kevin Durant recognized it, and he was like, "We are. We. This is checkmate. I want out of here." So Kevin Durant is a great player. So he's the, a ridiculously great player. So he's just a victim of circumstance. They were not going to put any. He of the created blame on him. the circumstance. I put all the blame on him. He created the circumstance that destroyed him, but he is still that good. You put him in the right circumstance. You tell me right now, mm -hmm. you're trying to win a championship. And uh, you, 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 again, I'm not starting in September, although in the case of Embiid, you might start in September because of the injury history. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, 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 your only goal is to win a championship. You could either have Joel Embiid or Kevin Durant on your team. You would take Embiid? For the upcoming season, I would take Embiid. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.